Hey guys, since our last robot update, we've actually gotten the motor controller back from our neighbor Stan, and now it's in our garage again, which mean, means we can start playing around with it. Our neighbor also discovered that we can actually run it off of single phase power, and we don't need three phase power. So he's lent us a transformer that if we rewrap, we'll be able to power the controller in this garage. Let's see what we can do with it. Help! Oh. What? A minute ago you said blue. Did I say blue? Rex, you said blue. Well, oh, I meant red. All right, so we've rewired the transformer and now it takes 240 and puts out 480. But this is 480 single phase, but the controllers seem to turn on. So maybe we'll luck out and it doesn't actually need three phase. Alright, so we got the teaching pendant plugged in, we have our new 240 to 480 volt transformer plugged into the black and red wire of the controller, let's see what happens. All right, so we managed to power up the controller in our garage, which is fantastic. What's not so fantastic is the amount of error codes that have shown up on the robot controller. It does not look good. It looks like it doesn't even remember the robot arm it was attached to. So even if we connect these two together, we might have a huge challenge ahead of us even getting the robot controller to communicate properly with the robot arm. Well, I know how to set the date. And then we set the robot and the controller type, and once we have all that set, we might have a working controller. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but before we can even try doing that, we need a way of connecting the robot controller to the robot arm, which means we need robot cables. We've looked up online, and they cost a couple hundred dollars each, which is a bit too much money for us to sink into uh, basically an experiment. Luckily, a friend of mine happens to have a robotics company, so we're going to go see if maybe he has some cables that we can use. Hey guys, so I'm here at New Age Robotics on our quest to try and find robot cables to fix up our old Nachi robot. I'm actually here with my old friend Alex, who's a friend from high school, and his dad actually owns this company. So we're going to poke around a bit and see if we can maybe find some cables that will fit our robot so we can get it up and running. Let's take a look. So they're really high speed because they're just three motors basically, but you can uh, locate anywhere in an XYZ plane, which is awesome. And this guy looks like it has a laser at the end or something, but that's really neat. ABB. Huh. Huh. 
<laughs> Collaborative Robotics. Is this a Fanuc? Motomon. controller for it. That was neat. Ah, oh, it's a big one. It's a 500 kilogram. It's insane. 500 kilogram payload. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I could pick up a small car. Vinacci. That was a big motor. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so New Age Robotics is really cool. They have so many robots and they're all used in different ways. Unfortunately, the notches they have are newer generation, which means the motor controller cables aren't the same as ours. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get some cables from him to connect our robot. We're not too sure what we're gonna do. We're gonna try hunting around on Kijiji, Craigslist, and eBay, and maybe we'll be able to find something cheap, or maybe we're just going to have to make our own cables or find a different way of connecting this robot. If anyone watching this happens to have some notchy robot cables laying around, let us know in the comments or shoot us an email through our website. Um, we could use some help on this project because like I've said, it is a cool project, but we can't sink too much time into it because we have a lot of other things going on and it's kind of sitting on the back burner until we can figure out how to actually get it moving. On the plus side, we've been talking to a few companies and there's a slim chance we might be able to get a newer robot that works out of the box that we can use in the shop. So we'll keep you updated on that as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you're notified as soon as we make any progress on this robot. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We post pictures almost every day. Thanks again.